Whoever made this, wow. This is probably the worst timing in the history of television. <gasps> double buns. D -d double buns? It's mini double bun. No, double. Oh. Double sliders? Hungry Jacks. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh. 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 Please, no. Oh. That... <laughs> you know, the ads is... are personalized. <laughs> No, dude! Someone had to make the conscious choice to make that! Man, I'm gonna be completely real with you. Um, on TV networks, I swear to God, they don't actually intentionally put ads in any way. I swear the AI, like just an AI throws them in based off of how much ad spend <laughs> the company puts in. I, I kind of just want... I, I just want to believe that someone made the conscious effort to do this just because they got a good giggle out of it. You know what? We live in a society. I could see it happening. Stop! Hello, everybody, and welcome to Calvis. My name is Luma. With me today is Zen. Oh, I'm already regretting this one. And today we're looking at r slash unexpected, a subreddit dedicated to things taking twists, turns, bumps, and beginnings that you would never have seen coming. What is a beginning? You'll never know. Let's jump right in. I think you just offended some people. <laughs> I hope that means nothing in any language. I hope <laughs> to God that that means nothing in any language. Great day for a boardwalk ride. Okay, thanks. Oh no. Oh, and you got a free hard. gift. Hard. You know what? It's good to accessorize. Yeah, honestly, I'm real proud that she was just like, well, free the bird, time to scream. She didn't scream while the <laughs> bird was there because that's how the bird enters your body and controls your mind. <laughs> Do you think the bird just got right up into the air and was just like, hey, it's free real estate. And then I just got thrown away. <laughs> I mean, you could probably make a nest there. It seems like a like a decent enough area. <laughs> hey, we've been trying to read you about your extended car warranty. <laughs> just throw it away. Not now. I'm trying to enjoy myself. Build this whole sand castle. Oh. Scratch. Okay. Oh, no. Making. Scaring away people with his little toys. Oh, no. Oh. <gasps> Um, no. Oh, not the sandcastle! <laughs> what? Who's that, Godzilla? Get rid of it! <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's like, <laughs> can't forget the shoes! Can't get a beauty! <laughs> Dude, hurry! Hurry, it's getting closer! Why was the jet just ready? Okay, that was a lot to take in. That was a lot to emotionally process. I, all I want to know, all I want to say is that dude had his priorities straight. Real talk though, uh, this guy would be me. We had like death storms a couple of days ago to the point where it actually kept me up and it sounded like a tornado the entire night. So I laid out clothing <laughs> on my floor so I could run out of my room completely dressed and ready in case a tornado showed up. <laughs> This isn't a bit. There is no meme. This is a real thing that I did to make myself feel better. <laughs> Genuine question. When you're dealing with like the threat of um, tornadoes and all that kind of stuff, why don't you just have like a portable vacuum cleaner ready? So if it does come for you, you can just suck it up. Cause it's just air. You got a you got a good point. You got a good point. Honestly, like we get so few tornadoes up here that people are like, what's your tornado plan? And it was literally make peace with God as fast as humanly possible. Yeah, it's all advice. <laughs> Boys will be boys. <gasps> Monkey. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God, why was that unexpected? I expected that. No, we it, it, they delivered. They delivered. Uh, I wonder what else they're delivering. Actually, it seems like a warehouse. Honestly, I miss working in a warehouse sometimes because we used to do this thing. We would we would just use like erotic Mickey voices and say horrible things over the walkie talkies, mm. and that's just how we entertained ourselves on dead uh, on like dead store days. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, Goofy, are, are you sure that's gonna fit? Oh, oh, oh. You know how at the beginning I said I was already regretting this? Bottom text. God, I, I, I hate you sometimes. I have closed off the society at the start. We have <laughs> reached bottom you text. I hate most of the times. Ooh. Aww. Aww. Oh. 
more! <laughs> <laughs> Little bastard. <laughs> That was almost such like a cute moment. Cat slowly waking up and then just like <laughs> collapsed. Actually, speaking of cats, uh, it my cat's been like really enjoying the sunny weather uh, the last couple of days. It's like super freaking hot. Um, I went outside to see how he was doing and I caught him in the midst of eating a big blade of grass, <laughs> then jumping down onto the ground and then proceeding to throw it up <laughs> very violently and <laughs> jump back up and repeat the process. This happened three times. <laughs> he did, why did he not learn? <laughs> see, my friend uh, used to have silverfish in their bathroom. Mm -hmm. And I always question why the silverfish only in the bathroom, but uh, not everywhere else. Because, you know, the silverfish. I mean, maybe it's the material the bathroom was made out of. Well, here's the thing. I got my answer as we sat there at one in the morning eating Taco Bell delivered to us by a woman who said Coke is conk and proceeded to laugh all the way from when we were placing an order to driving to the window. Um, she literally took our card and then just went conk. <laughs> But so we get back, we're eating our Taco Bell, and then I understand why the silverfish don't leave the bathroom. I witnessed as their small cat mercilessly ripped one in half to eat. Oh, fantastic. That story, why did you need to include the conk? <laughs> seems like superfluous. It seems like unnecessary details. I'm, I'm painting you an, a, a picture of a world you haven't yet been to. <laughs> Of a Massachusetts can... Taco Bell at one in the morning. <laughs> You're building a world that we have not need, no need to explore at the moment. <laughs> it makes the story feel more real. It's so unnecessary. Why you shouldn't let Strungiers pet your dog? Oh, pet the dog. Mm -hmm. Pet the dog. Dog is happy. Touch dog black. Oh, don't is try. Is he trying to steal the? Is he trying to steal the freaking? Don't steal Jumper? dog sweater. Don't steal the dog sweater. They are. I can't believe someone is actually robbing a dog. They're literally taking the clothes off the dog's back. That is just pathetic. God. Are you kidding me? Why? Why would you even... What was the point of that? Do you have a dog of equivalent size? Are you going to give that to you like your girlfriend? Like, babe, I thought of you at the store today. Don't mind the dog fur. Maybe they wanted it or... Like, the, the, the direction I do not want this to be in is a case of just, oh, they don't like the fact that that dog was wearing clothing, so they took it into their own hands to just get rid of it. Because I have a feeling it might be going down that way. Oh, hey, um, apparently th there is context to why the dog is wearing a sweater, but, like, nothing else. This apparently took place in Brazil, and this is just how Brazil is. At the top of that thread, it said, like, it was extremely cold, so they were maybe keep trying to keep the dog warm? Well, that's what I thought the sweater was for, but then this one is saying, I've seen the full video and it's not what it seems like. The owner of the dog's not home, then it rained, so the dog's shirt got wet. First guy removed the shirt, and then a woman came by with her husband and kid and gave the dog a new shirt. Do, do people just carry around shirts for dogs? And there's so much context here that is missing, and that's reddit.com. Oh! Oh. Okay, what, what, what's making some pencil lead art? Is this a Jesus? Uh, okay. Are they making a mosquito? <laughs> Mosquitus? Are you kidding me? Mosquitus! <laughs> really? <laughs> Just mosquito. <laughs> the mosquito died for everyone's sins. Uh, yeah, Beasel yeah, bug? Yeah, Christ, you beasel bug. <laughs> oh. Why? Why did oh. you feel the... Like the skill that went into doing this as well. Are you kidding me? I I I don't understand. <laughs> let it out. Let it <laughs> out. Yawn, eat my ass. <laughs> Start spreading the news. I am so be back home in New York. My absolute favorite place in the world where everybody and their mother is a shallow, materialistic, narcissistic. Oh no. Just like me. <laughs> and you can find literally anything you want within a short distance. You want the best bagel you've ever had? Here, check this out. Free heroin. <laughs> I saw a post forever ago that was like a used needle on the ground. I was like, wow, I found a free vaccine. What a good day for me. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm thinking of is 
Man, that's gonna give me a lot to censor. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just casual language in New York. You should hear what it sounds like when they swear. Have you seen the video of the dude? <laughs> God, just thinking about it makes me laugh. And the dude just standing in like New York on a crosswalk and he's just like, I am walking it. <laughs> the lady just walks over and is like, hey, we do not speak like that. Sounding exactly like he did. I got so angry. <laughs> Look, as someone whose uh, accent is vaguely New York, Bostonian, New Hampshire, and Maine somewhat, um, I can relate to that on a spiritual level. <laughs> I have done a, hey, I'm walking here. Uh, I am walking here. I have here. no family from New York. I don't know where it came from. Um, if someone knows an exorcist, I believe there is a demon from New York in me and he wants some bagels and free heroin. Just let us know if people actually say that in daily life in New York. If you're from New York, let us know. I am actually curious about this. Smoth! Why Why did you say it like that? Oh. Oh. Did, did it just bonk her head? <laughs> she dropped her sunglasses. Oh! <laughs> Okay, yeah, that is smooth. Oh top, my. Top comment. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> oh, amazing. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you just gotta live in the moment and not through the lens of a camera, you know? The username is money over bitches. <laughs> Gun disarming technique. Okay. That's how you grab the gun. Okay, is that? Gonna shoot. Is he gonna shoot? <laughs> no. Parry this, you casual. <laughs> Perfect block. <laughs> no, that's it. That's it. I, I think that's all we need to say on that one. <laughs> For some odd reason, just the way you said that just reminded me of something. Oh no, what? He just, he just does it! Like, he just, he actually just does it! Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> anyway, back to your regularly scheduled Calvis post. Uh, just watching that it just makes me more amped for when I'm going to get my one wheel as well. I'm just so excited. <laughs> what, so you can punch deer? <laughs> Look, it's a benefit, alright? <laughs> Biker gives out roses! Hey, that's for you. No, 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 for him. Oh, for him? For him. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I love that. I you love know what? That. Yeah, we need more of that kind of stuff. Yo, we just bros on bikes. Let's go. Oh, speaking of bros on bikes, last night at like 11 a.m. 11 p.m. Sorry, 11 a.m. wouldn't have made much sense. The the house across the street. We live. I live in like a single road village. There's like maybe 20 houses uh, along this road. Pretty quiet in the middle of nowhere. Watch out! If you if you give too many details, people might figure out you're European. Shush! <laughs> don't give me ideas. Uh, but no, there was just like the people that moved in across the road. Like they've been there for like a year now. But they just had some dude, no 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 safety gear, no helmet, no nothing, just on a freaking super bike, revving away, showing it off <laughs> at 11 p.m. And I was just trying to watch my shows. <laughs> Oh god, I actually have a meme relevant for this. I, uh, it's just so annoying, and it went on for like two hours! My wife was trying to watch her shows when I was cranking my hog! And, <laughs> and when she asked me to turn it down, I said, Yes, honey, I love and appreciate you. I'll try and crank my hog a little quieter next time. <laughs> you know what? It wasn't even a show. I lied! I was working on the podcast! <laughs> a public proposal! This is already doomed to failure. Oh, uh, she's saying uh, no. Oh. No, Dying no. down the crowd hype. Yeah. Yeah, oh, no. no. By all means, honey. Good. Absolutely. Doing... Uh, proposing in, like, a massive public venue like that is kind of setting expectations. And, oh, it like, the pressure... I don't know. I don't know. It should be so a very kind of, like personal thing. It's the Dennis method. Ah? You invite some girls out on a boat, you ask them to sleep with you. What's the implication here? You're on a boat, no way off. Mm, it's, no, it's, I don't like that. Yeah, no, it's it's disgusting, right? It's from Always Sunny. It's called the Dennis method, I'm pretty sure. 
it, like it, it, that it's the same philosophy though like of pressuring someone in a societal situation where there is you know mentally no escape true 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 so no oh, oh fair play fair play to the lady in this one yeah Absolutely no by fair all play. means run queen run as fast as you can get out of there top comment really bad third date ouch Whew, and i can't even get a first one <laughs> my right arm actually broke up with me oh dude i i should introduce you to my left are you propositioning me that's work that's workplace harassment <laughs> What are you, a Blizzard executive? <laughs> Topical! Car audio systems. I was just gonna like, just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing though. Yeah, it's cool and all, but you can't really hear the music when it's just blowing out your eardrums. I love how it's called Rocket Jump, but like, I do not hear anything Team Fortress 2 related here. Where are the explosions, huh? Yeah, where, where, I, look, unless you sampled <laughs> Rick May screaming, it's not a real Rocket Jump. <laughs> Everybody's gangsta! Until... Until... I'm expecting the sea to start chanting in Latin. Ah! Oh ah! no. Oh no. You are playing with danger, my guy. Don't oh. feed the birds, because the birds will get mad when there's none left. I... Okay. Is a bird just going to dive bomb him? Oh, <laughs> they approach it. They, they're getting impatient. They're in formation. Yeah, kill formation. <laughs> I, I would have hacked the sword, dude. You got some dinosaurs on your tail. Is he out of fish? Oh! Oh. oh, hello! Oh. Hello! <laughs> what a friend! What a, like, what an actual friend I love! Everyone's gangster until- so where's it gonna go? Oh, it's getting on board! Oh, it's getting on board! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Me, when Doritos bag. Pringles, once you pop, you just can't stop. Honestly, though, um, relatable animal. Relatable animal. <laughs> Tube of fat is relatable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's all the time we have here today on Calvis. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, maybe share this with a friend if they too can relate to a large tube of an animal. Yes. If you do want more r slash unexpected, there'll be another one popping up in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Luma. With me has been Zen. Hello. Yes, me. Bye bye. And uh, yeah, and we hope to see you in the very next Calvis video. Have a great rest of your day.